All right. Three versus three. You play with Rai and Mizuru. Wow. Hi Rai. Who is Rai? Who is Mizuru? Uh, I will spec. Oh, my type. Definitely my type. Against us three. Eh, another dragon. Oh, that's cool. Okay, another dragon. Who who is this guy? Look like a polar bear. Oh, and Mizuru might not look at look it, but he's really good. They seem like a sturdy duo. Mizuru looks like a fox, a red fox. You do know how to play basketball, right? Yeah, I do. Awesome. I wasn't prepared to sweat out today, but a hey. hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Desmond. Today, let's play a place to call home, Park Seventeen. So sorry for the late update of this game because I've just recovered from COVID nineteen. Okay, let's go. He opens his eyes and stares for a few seconds. I bet he doesn't have a clue what happened. Dot dot dot. Hey. He looks at me, confused. I know what you are going to say. What happened? Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. What happened? He looked at his arm. Did I lose consciousness? Yeah. You were pretty dramatic. I didn't expect that, really. But I look fine again. He sighed. Do do do. Jack and I carry you inside. I had to oh, uh, take off your clothes too. I hope you haven't been taking advantage of that. What? I'll never. It's also midnight. It's pretty late. Hehe. <laughs> he covers himself with a thick blanket. The dog. Leon, relax. The lion rubs his temples while sitting on the bed. I'm fine. I'm just sorting things out. Hey. I sit beside him. I'll be honest. He grew up well, considering his situation. He's a fine man, really. You raised him well. But what he said about not having a real family? Does he not think of me as his father? He does, Leon. But it feels like he's fighting his own demons. Dot dot dot. How do I look? Handsome. Oh. <laughs> Filio is shy. I thought I looked stupid. I really shouldn't have said those things earlier. I feel awful right now. Everything's a mess. Let yourself feel that way. It's better to get those weeks off your chest rather than carrying it for the rest of your life. If you say so, Sensei Lutus. No problem. Master Filio. Ah, uh, I'm going back to sleep. Night, the night. Good night. Okay, the next day. Oh. Dot dot dot. Question mark. Aha. Dot dot dot. Oh, <laughs> that's so awkward. How are you feeling? Hmm, fine. Luther said your arm started to hurt and you pass out from the pain. He managed to catch you, thankfully, even though he got squished. Hmm, I cooked some ham slice. They are good with the butter toast. Um. Dot dot dot. Come on, Filio. I know you want to say sorry. Um, question mark. Have you eaten yet? Yup. As much as I wanted to wrap my arms around him, I couldn't bring myself to step closer. 
It's as if change held my legs down in place while a pair of hands covered my hand from speaking. Is this guilt? Is this shame? I... Did you sleep well? Speechless. If you are wondering where the two are, Jack brought Lutus with him to go fishing. Oh. Mm. Does he have a job? He's taking a short break from work. He can't be taking short breaks. He's an officer. It's not an easy job. Or maybe he's taking a short break for us to get acquainted with him. That's why Luther is with him right now. Da -da -da. Maybe what? Nothing. I see. I hate fishing. Got anything yet? No. Last time I went fishing with my dad, I was so annoyed by all the mosquitoes and the forever waiting at the, at the riverside. I don't even know how to use a fishing pole. His line starts tugging and he immediately springs into action. He stands up and takes a step back, then reels the fish in. A fish flies into the air and lands on Jack's face with a wet turn. Oh! First blood. Let's see how you catch up to me now. It looks like a tiny sardine. I waited patiently for the wire to be tucked by unsuspecting fish. A couple of minutes pass and it already seems like hours. Though Jack has managed to catch one more, a more sizable one this time. Dot dot dot. I'm done with this. I place the pole on the ground. Oh, you quitting? No, I'm gonna eat my way. I'm gonna eat my way? Question mark. I took off my clothes and tossed them on the chair. Oh? Lightly dipping my toe down the water, the temperature seems just right. A little colder than the shower back home. Here I go. I sink my first feast, then my legs. Ooh! <laughs> what a sound! <laughs> you can feel how huge is Luther's body. After which I gradually submerge my whole lower body in cool water. I trot carefully as I walk on rocks. Most especially on the pointy ones that poke my soles with the same caliber of pain as Lego bricks. I turn to Jack and I see him staring at my back. Da -da -da. Stop looking at my butt. Why? Oh! God help you, Luthers. He's your stepfather. It's weird. Well, I can't help it. You're right there out on the open with no underwear. <gasps> Seriously? And I'm also fishing. So how could I not? Da -da -da. Whatever. Okay, this is not logic. If Luther swim in the river, then definitely he will scare off all the fish. How is Jack able to fish anymore? I stood still in a squat and stared at the clear water. Three, four, five. Five fish are swimming under my legs, and they are trolled. I can make something good with fresh trout. I waited and steadily aimed my hands at the fish. After a minute of observing their movement, I swooped in with my free, unsprained arm in the same direction a trout was heading. It squirms and splashed around violently in my hands. Aha! Uh -huh. Got one! I shook my legs dry out of the water and tossed it into the bucket. That's a big catch. He drops his fishing pole and stretch. What are you doing? He takes off his clothes, including his underwear. Oh! Oh! Oh, Lutus look happy. Oh my god! He goes into the water and immediately starts shivering. Cold! Ahaha! <laughs> You are not a snow wolf, so you are not used to cold. I can use an air conditioner, no problem. At night, 
that so? He stands at the deeper part of the water and imitates the position I did just now. His tail whipped back and forth elegantly as he waits. Ha! Huh. He should have left it here. Aha! I found the envelope containing our money from yesterday. I'll just change my outfit as well. Oh, nice new outfit! Philo looks so happy. I'm going to buy a drink. Stay safe. Dot dot dot. I took my phone out and dialed Lutus. Wow, you really don't know how to catch my hand. That was a bad swing. Bad swing. So you don't believe that I can catch fish by a handstand? Um, yep. No answer. <laughs> Is Philo jealous? I walked around the neighborhood for a while, counting small cats that walk on roof rooftops. It takes my mind off things. Oh, that's right, I have superpowers now. What should I do with it though? Should I make an outfit to mask myself as a hero and fight crime? Or should I use it for fun stuff? Filio, are you thinking to be a furry hero? Um, I guess that whenever a superhero pops up, a supervillain also shows up. And that could lead to even more troubles. Um, fun stuff it is. Hey, random guy. Ooh, hey you. Question mark. Oh, is he calling me? New character again, I point to myself. Yeah, you. Wanna play basketball with us? We are missing one guy and we need a sub. Um, sure. Name's Sion. Oh, Sion looks hot. Filio. And Sion tank top is so gay. And the size is so unfit. It's definitely an extra small size. Cool name. Wing. Bad boy. Bad filio. Uh, I mean bad filio. Anytime now. I'm waiting. I watch his stance. It's perfectly fine. Still as a lock. Legs in a half squat. The problem is his tail, it keeps moving. I grab it. Question mark. What the? Your tail is moving too much. So? It means you are not focusing well enough on catching fish, but rather, you are just having fun watching them swimming under your legs. Da -da -da. <sighs> you are right. I am out of focus. I thought you wanted to do something with my ass though. Oh my god, Jack. This is your stepson. Cut it out. It's alright. I don't mind. So, any tips on not getting distracted? Um. Um. I look at his tongue. <laughs> Why so many speechless moments? Well, are you just gonna stare at my dick all day? Aha! Uh -huh. If you catch fish, I will cook us something special. Maybe you haven't heard from your Leo, but I'm a good cook. Oh, really? I'll testify with a bet. Betting? Can't we just fish for fun? It makes things even more fun. So, if your cooking doesn't surpass my standard of good food, you'll be joining me at work. Work? At the office in New York PD. Whoa, alright. If I win, if I win, I stare at his <laughs> once more. <gasps> oh my goodness. Question mark. Alright. 3 vs 3. You play with Rai and Mizuru. Wow! Hi Rai. Who is Rai? Who is Mizuru? Uh, I with Spack. Oh, my type. Definitely my type. Against us three. Eh? Another dragon. Oh, that's cool. Okay, another dragon. Who, who is this guy? 
look like a polar bear. Oh, and Mizuru might not look at look it, but he's really good. They seem like a sturdy duo. Mizuru looks like a fox, a red fox. You do know how to play basketball, right? Yeah, I do. Awesome. I wasn't prepared to sweat out today, but a hey. the G Shepherd dribbles the ball and stares intently into him. You're not gonna go in see on me, are ya? He passes the ball and the game starts. Rai dribbles the ball, taunting Sion with a menacing squad. Can you outplay me this time? Bait? Nah, I'll win anyway. Video! Rai tosses it to you with a sneaky back pass. The movement of the ball slows as it flies closer to your face. <gasps> Staring! It's moving slower than it looks. You catch it with both hands but with impact as soft as a rubber ball toy. Mizuru! You pass the ball and it flies toward him with a force of a tornado. Oh no! You swear you could hear a tiny sonic bomb as it did. Da -da -da. Oh. Mizuru gets up and dunks the ball while the others just stare in awe. Mizuru walks toward you limping with amazement. Damn, you're strong. Are you okay? I'm fine, nothing broken, fortunately. You got back to your position, it's your turn to pass the ball. You're out of shape, dude. Rai look awesome. So handsome and so hot. Nah, he's just really strong. Yeah, right. I'm not even kidding. You dribble the ball, but only with gentle taps as to not make a crater on the ground. You pass the ball. Sion catches it with thumb and runs towards your side. Shiro! You focus on the ball and with a blink of your eyes, the movement of your opponent slows down as if gravity ceases to exist. What the F? You stand in shock, watching Shiro gradually reach the ring. The wolf felt the world felt like it stood still around you. What it has happening? Like a scene from a movie, you walk around them and stare at their poses, especially Rai, who is oblivious to you touching his muscle. Shiro stays in the air, as if stuck stuck within the event horizon of a black hole. Nice! Earth to Filio. Kashima. Oh! You let go of his packs. You're really focusing on this one, huh? I don't want to back out on my bed. Well, it's going to swim away if you don't move now. Just give me a minute. He violently strikes into the water, splashing water everywhere. I got... I didn't get it. Wahaha. <laughs> you really are bad at this. I use a fishing pole to catch fish, not my hands. <sighs> then why don't you use the fishing pole? It seems more fun this way. Sure, it's fun watching you feel. He dives down into the water. Well, I'm going to dry off. Huh? Oh! An arm grabs hold of me around the waist and I'm quickly lifted off the water. Ah! I'm catching fish. What does it look like? Put me down! This is what you get for calling me bad at fishing. Oh! I knew I wouldn't like this guy from my first impression of him, but despite that, hanging out with him feels kind of fun. And having this feeling in me again, I can't help but let myself be carried away. What about Filio, though? Why so silent all of a sudden? Oh, uh, I was just... It's nothing. Ah, uh, conscious so I can get down. Who boy, my drink's all warm now. He sips on his beer can. He looks at me. One one? Yes. Nothing beats fishing and cold beer. Yeah. My father taught me how to fish while I was a toddler. I hauled in half a dozen that day. Good times. Sounds like you have got a good dad. No, he's an asshole. 
What makes you say that? He just is. You know, I'm happy seeing your father not impose any weird crap in your life or have some distorted perception of reality and have incredibly high expectations of you. Leo, well, it's only been two years, but I do feel like he's my second father already. Oh, two years only. And he's pretty laid back. Even Philo hasn't gotten to school. I think that's how laid back he is. Ha, huh, I guess so. Now Philo doesn't need to go to school anymore because now he's a furry hero. Is that what your father is? What? What you told me, was he the type to do that to you? Well, yes, you could say that. Let's not talk about him anymore. It doesn't make me feel good. Alright. Though, I'm having high expectation from your cooking. I live alone back in my apartment, so I know how to cook for myself. Oh, what's your favorite recipe? Scramble eggs. Phenomenal skills, dude. Yeah, you're amazing. Am I? A reason? Though you kind of knock some people down, you're quite fast. Feel you? Damn. You really kill it back there. If it's our team, we could be owning the prelims. What is happening to me? Heck. The regionals, even. <sighs> yeah, Philo should be an athlete. Or maybe soldier? If only. Then why not ask him? Question mark. Philo? Want me to join your team? Would you? Well, uh, sweating. We are from the local college in the town, so we don't have our name high up there yet. Though with your awesome basketball skill, I'm pretty sure we could. Mm, we have our own gym. Um, we have got locker rooms, clean ones. Um, regular pizza time. Oh. Only on Wednesdays. Mm. <laughs> Mondays and Wednesday. Even Friday if you do well. No way. He's going all in. Eh, please join. Do it, do it. You don't have to spend on anything. Deal. Easy stardom. Here I come. Where do I sign up? Give me your phone number. I pull out my phone and eagerly give him my contacts. Hello. James, you are uh, Practice just finished. Just ended. I heard this fine fellow is joining our team. Yay, he's got really good. With him, we were breezing through all the games. So you are with us now, huh? But before you do, why don't we have a one-on-one? -on -one? Okay. No, that won't be necessary. Huh? Yeah, James, what you do isn't very appealing to our group. Come on, just a game. Not like I actually hurt people. Mizuru raises a brow. Intentionally. He fetched the ball and readies himself. Let's go. Best of three points win. I go to my side of the court. Is this a wagon match or something? I judge whether you join or not. Uh-huh. Go easy on him, please. He triples the ball and makes his attempt to get through me. I block his footstep and mimic his movement. Um, he abruptly looks to his side, not noticing something. Question mark. Ah! He jogs and knocks me down while he makes his way to the ring, making me land on my rear. He makes it and scores a point. One point. Foul! I score so it counts. Sure. You can do this, Phil. Uh, I stand back up and ready myself for another shuffling. Oh, luckily, Filio is not getting mad. He passed the ball. This guy seemed pissed for some reason. Talk about anger issues. I dash forward and make him chase me, but he quickly match my pace and blocks my way. He stares sends a slight chill to my spine. A cold, hot look in within his eyes weirdly urged me to fight back. 
the ground below me becomes light and each thumb of the ball echoes in my head through a rhythmic pulse. He scanned me with sharp eyes and began taunting to swipe the ball from my hands. I dash and make a run of it. We move back and forth and I try to outpace him, but with his rather firm build, I doubt I can. I make a mad dash behind him until the world spin as I begin falling down, falling down again. James, he tripped. Yes, from your foot. Are you trying to get yourself into trouble? All right, all right. I'll ease up on the slick, sick place. Sickening, yeah. You all right? Right helps me up while I try to make sense of the spinning cord. Ah, oh, I'm fine. Though a little shaken up from his stun. Sorry about that. He's a bit rough sometimes, but he really is just trying to get the best of the team. Today, I think he's a bit PC for not being able to catch up on practice. I can tell he really hates me for it. Eh. The two of them continue on their argument, with Sion throwing hands in the air, scolding the dragon with a parented tone. <whistles> Whistle blow. Oh, who the hell is this? It's the coach. A large grey bear comes forward to confront the two. What's with all this yelling and shouting? Oh, nothing really. Just James and his antics. What are you mad then? <sighs> the tiger chest heaved forward. No roaring. Zebra from Savannah District are migrating here in the neighborhood. Gah! I'm not done with you yet. He leave and walk away. Mizuru gently taps on the bare shoulder. Mizuru sound like a Japanese name. A Japanese red fox? So, how you doing coach? Well, other than this kifafa and kifafa and trouble finding sponsors, I guess I'm still in one piece. The group gathers around him continue with Mizuru missing the tense atmosphere. He's very charismatic. Who? Mizuru? Yeah, he's that kind of guy in the group. It's quick to have him around, really. Phew! Question mark. He gestured me to come over. This guy? Hey! He scanned me from head to toe, then lightly smacked my shoulder. He got a sturdy bill. Exactly, he's really strong, sharp on his feet too. What do you say, coach? If he's hard for it, then it's alright. Hear that, dude? You are in! Practice is the day after tomorrow in the gymnasium. The gym here? Yeah. For now, since Sion left, we'll just have a short meeting. I'm assuming Sion already got some details of you? Yeah, he's got my number too. Then you're free to leave. Aye. Thanks for joining us. See ya. <laughs> Think's that enough? Yeah. Hey guys, I think... That's it for today. I just recovered from COVID-19, so I'm still having on and off coughing and a little bit of throat discomfort. Please look forward to the next part. And I'm so happy that this time the game maker is not just giving us one or two new characters, but a whole bunch of basketball team. Can you believe it? If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.